gunmen with swastika on T-shirts kill 15 at Russian school. A gunman with a swastika on his T-shirt has killed 15 people, including 11 children, and wounded 24 at a school in Russia. Investigators have said the attacker, a man in his early 30s who was named by authorities as Artem Kazanskiv, killed two security guards, then opened fire on students and teacher at school number 88 in Izhev, where he had once been a pupil. He then killed himself. Russia's investigator committee, which handles major crime, said it was looking into the perpetrator's suspect neo-Nazi link. Currently, investigators are conducting a search of his residence and studying the personality of the attacker, his view and surroundings milieus, the committee said in a statement. Checks are being made into his adherence to neo fascist views and Nazi ideology. Investigator release a video showing the man's body lying in a classroom with overturned furniture and paper strewn on the blood-strained floor. He was dressed it all in black with a red swastika in a circle drawn on his T-shirt. The investigator committee said that of 24 people being wounded, all but two were children. The regional governor, Alexander Berachov, said surgeons had carried out a number of operations. He said the attacker has been resistor with the psycho-neological treatment facility. Investigators said the man was armed with two pistol and a large supply of ammunition. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov and President Vladimir Putin deeply mourned the death. He described the incident as a terrorist act by a person who apparently belonged to a neo fascist organization or group. He said doctor, psychologist, and neo-surgeons has been sent on Putin's order to the location of the shootings in Izhevk, about 600 miles east of Moscow. Russia has experienced several school shootings in recent years. In May 2021, a teenage gunman killed seven children and two adults in the city of Kazan. In September last year, a student armed with a hunting rifle shot dead at least six people at a university in rural cities of Perm. In April 2022, an armed man killed two children and a teacher at a kindergarten in the central Ulyanovsk region before committing suicide. In 2018, an 18-year-old student killed 20 people, mostly fellow pupils, in a mass shootings at a college in Russian-occupied Crimea, which Moscow seized from Ukraine in 2014. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.